Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here in the Mighty Mini Tropolis of Marnie, Iowa at Baxter Cycle and look what we got today. This is a Triumph Scrambler 1200 XC and we're going to take that hot rod for a spin. Wahoo! Five, four, three, two, one. That hot rod sparks to life. 33.1 inch seat. That's 840 millimeters. Hey, we are going the wrong way, by golly. What shall we do about that? Well, how about spinning around? No problems, no problems. If you're in the market for a new or used Royal Enfield, Triumph, classic British bike of any type, get yourself down here to Baxter Cycle in Marnie, si Marnie Iowa. They've got accessories, parts, gear, everything you can imagine. BaxterCycle.com. Order today and they'll ship it out within a few days. Wahoo! Wow, has this thing got torque? Holy moly, does this thing have torque. 89 horsepower, 81 foot pounds of torque. I think that's 110 newton meters. Let's see if we can spin around in a circle here. A lot of natives around, so we've got to be kind of a little friendly. A lot of gravel on the road right there. <laughs> Good grief. A lot of gravel on the road. It is a long wheelbase and it is a tall bike. And boy, does it have the juice. This is a 1200cc parallel twin, liquid cooled, single overhead cam, four valves per cylinder. What did I say? 89 horsepower, 81 foot pounds of torque. It's uh, 110 newton meters, six speed transmission, absolutely fabulous transmissions on these bikes. Good grief. What a hot rod, what a hot rod. And look at that nice tight turning. Showa on the front, Olin's on the back. Yeah, 7.9 inches of travel front and rear, that's about 200 millimeters. I like the display, very readable. I think it's also variable. I think you can adjust that in the uh, settings. Where's the speedometer? Oh, right there. <laughs> Gear indicator, speedometer, pseudo tachometer, fuel gauge on the left, all kinds of information on the right, including time. Good grief, it's got everything. We are in sixth gear. We're talking about 3,100 at 60 miles an hour. This one is a 2022 model with about 3,200 miles on it. Hey, it's got cruise control. Uh, I think that's this button here. Let's use that. Look at that, huh? <laughs> 53 miles an hour. Wow, this thing handles like a dream. I am, am, I'm absolutely impressed with the handling on this bike. I mean, look at this. It's got a 90-90-21 on the front. I can't remember what the back one is. I think it's a 150-70-17 on the back. I'll check that. If, if I'm wrong, I'll put it below. What a motorcycle. The feel is very good. It's a little gravelly when you're accelerating, but I think they kind of build that in because I know these 1200s are rock smooth engines. I think to turn the cruise control off, you tap either the front or rear brake, grab the clutch, or turn the uh, gas into a negative and it'll uh, shut herself down. This is a fly-by-wire bike. It's got rain mode, road mode, sport mode, off-road mode, and rider mode. And I'm not sure what the difference between each mode is, nor do I know how to change it. I suppose there's a mode button here somewhere. Yeah, right there. And right now we are in road mode. Here we are at Iowa's busiest intersection. Not a car to be found, just one lonely motorcycle. Boy, look at that. It turns so well. It turns so well. I like it. Very nimble handling. Why does it pull? Pulls like a banshee, my friends. Pulls like a banshee. I like it. So this bike has 89 horsepower, but it's all in the right spot, like any Triumph. Everything's right where you need it. It's a rider's motorcycle. It's built for the rider's enjoyment. So the torque, the horsepower, everything is right where you want it. Everything is smooth, high quality, top notch. You know, all the gear is perfect. Very exciting for me to ride. Me gusta mucho. The Showa suspension in the front is adjustable for compression, rebound, and dampening. And I believe the Olin's in the rear, it's got twin Olin shocks in the rear, they are adjustable as well. It's really quite a machine. 
The front forks are inverted, by the way. So the seating position. Well, to the average person, this is gonna seem like a tall motorcycle. 31.1 inch seat, 840 millimeters. Uh, you do have to throw your leg over to get on it. It's got loads of ground clearance. Sitting on it, I'm sitting leaning forward slightly. My uh, knees are running downhill from my hips. My heels are slightly behind my knees. Yes, I'd say they are. And I am reaching to the bars. This looks like it has a bar riser kit on it. Yes, it does. But it's a comfortable reach. I like it. This is a true rider's bike. A true rider's bike. What a machine. What a machine. I'm thoroughly impressed with this. Thoroughly impressed. And it's got that famous Triumph fueling. Very responsive. Just everything in the right spot, you know. Let's see if there's anybody on the top of the hill here. Does not look to be. No one behind us. Let's do a little spin test here. This is a very tall bike and a very long wheelbase. What did I say? 61 inches, maybe? 60.2? I can't remember. 1,558 millimeters. Hey, there's the derailed grill. If you get to Marty, give those people a shot. Great eats, great eats. Holy moly. This thing's a powerhouse. You have got to get down to Baxter Cycle and give this thing a try. I think Triumph excels with the Scramblers and the Tigers and, uh, well, they excel with everything. They're just beautiful machines. Absolutely beautiful machines. Uh, that is Baxter Cycle right there, BaxterCycle.com, and I don't think we're ready to go back. Let's uh, let's go see what else we can find around town. I wonder if they'd lend me this bike for a few days. That'd, that'd be asking a lot, wouldn't it? I feel like I'm on top of the world on it, but yet the handling doesn't feel like I'm on stilts. It's just very good. Of course, it's got that incredibly controllable suspension and excellent fueling. <laughs> She's got some pull, my friend. She's got some pull. And she has traction control. Ha, 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 ha. I wonder if that's switchable. I'm betting you that's switchable. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. I like it. I like this a lot. This is a real treat. I love the way this thing looks. I love the way it, it performs. It's, it's, I'm totally sold on these. Oh, we're gonna try it again. Traction control, traction control. I wonder how I shut that off. Well, we're not gonna worry about that. What the traction control does is when the wheels start to spin, it uh, throttles back the engine. What a beauty. You know, I think if you put it in off-road mode, traction control shuts itself down. I bet there's other ways to do it too. All right, my friends, if you are in the market for a new or used Royal Enfield Triumph, like this one, British classic motorcycle of any type, you need parts, accessories, gear, helmets, anything at all. Get yourself down here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty mini-tropolis of Marnie, Iowa. Look at those motorcycles there. That's an old Norton right there, 850 Commando. Oh, beautiful. Anyway, and talk to Randy or Jeremy or Mark. They can help you out. Or go to BaxterCycle.com, place your order, and they'll ship it out lickety-split. Let's go down to the park. Yeah, I know, I just, I don't want to quit riding. <laughs> it's such a controllable powerhouse. You know, everything just, the brakes are phenomenal. The suspension is out of this world. The fueling is, you know, Triumph has great fueling. This has extra great fueling. The feel is just, I love it. Absolutely love it. Well, that was a real sweet ride. This thing is a real hoot nanny. Boy, look at that thing. It's got it all, doesn't it? It's got the Triumph style. It's got the Triumph quality. It's got the engine, the performance. It's just got every possible thing you could want. I like it. I like, I'd put a fairing on it, but I, boy, do I like it as it is. What a machine it is to roll on. It is a real rider's bike. So this is a Triumph Scrambler XC. They also make an XE. The XC is a couple inches taller. And uh, where this has Owens on the rear with Showa on the front, the XC has Showa's on the front, I believe. Uh, engine on this, let's just start with that. 1200 cc, parallel twin, liquid cooled. There's a radiator. Oh, this one has an aftermarket guard on it. It looks like it's air cooled. It's got the, you know, it's got the Triumph styling cues, of course. Anyway, single overhead cam, four valve per cylinder, 270 degree crank. That's why it had the good sound. Okay, it's got the 270 crank. 11 to 1 compression. That's pretty good. 89 horsepower, 81 foot-pounds of torque, that's 110 newton meters, six-speed transmission. Triumph makes awesome transmissions, absolutely slick. I wonder if you could put a quick shifter on this thing. 
I bet you could. Just look at that. You know, doesn't this remind you of the old Triumph of Old? You know, a lot of styling clues going back to the uh, 60 models, you know. Look at this here. Triumph heart, points cover, you know, the, the finned, pseudo fin motors. Look at this, look at this. this. This alone is a piece of art. They kind of made this engine a little gravelly when you're accelerating, and I think they did that on purpose because I've rode the same engine in other bikes and it's ultra smooth. So I think they did that to, you know, emphasize the scrambler thing. And it's just a very slight feeling. There's a radiator again, bash guard on the bottom. I could not find a ground clearance, but the uh, suspension travels 200 millimeters at 7.9 inches. So I'm gonna guess it's more than that. It's probably eight, eight and a half inches. So these are 320 millimeter. Look at that, isn't that just art? First off, isn't that just art? To me, that's art. I, I mean, I, I could stare at that for hours. You know, the spider web in the center, you know, it's a floating disc, 320 millimeter Brembo um, M50 calipers, monoblock. Look at that one solid chunk of metal. <laughs> Make sure it's not hot. And what that does is when you have one solid piece of metal, the heat transfers from piece to piece better. It's a, It uh, allows for better cooling, more even cooling. It also allows for uh, more strength, but you know, four pistons, two pistons here, two pistons there, floating disc, radially mounted, check that out on this inverted fork, show a fork, just a gorgeous thing. These are aluminum wheels. These are tubeless aluminum wheels, by the way. Check out the spokes. Just a gorgeous thing, isn't it? This whole thing is just gorgeous. Metal fender, that's got a good amount of rise. And fork, fork protectors, of course. You know, coming up here, cast metal for the uh, headlamp holders. Very stylized headlamp, you know, with the Triumph stuff on the inside. 255 millimeter on the rear with a two piston Brembo. Check that out. By the way, ABS front and rear. And the back tire is a 150 70 17. I was right. And the front tire is a 90 90 21. Look how tall that thing is. You know, just look at that. Whoosh. Uh, the rear has got these Olins. Let's see if we can see them. And they're adjustable for compression. I'm guessing one of these is rebound and the other is dampening down here. But look at those springs. I mean, just massive, just massive. Here's the other side. I like it, I like it. And then I always say this, I always point this out. Look at these, just art, piece of artwork. The swing arm, just beautifully done. You know, the chain adjuster there, beautifully done. You know, just like anything Triumph, everything is quality, Triumph symbol there. You know, cast, cast pieces. You know, just everything is right top notch, just top notch. And you feel that when you ride these bikes, any Triumph, you just, it oozes with quality. Look at that back fender. I believe that's metal. Wheelbase, 60.2 inches. If I said anything different earlier, this is the correct number. That's 1,530 millimeters. Seat height, 33.1 inches. That's 840 millimeters. That's about equal to my Himalayan. I raised my Himalayan seat. Fuel tank, 4.2 gallons. Isn't that a beautiful fuel tank? I mean, just, just look at that. Knee pads, the tank strap. You know, the badging, the stripes, pinstripes. Just a gorgeous thing. That Monza cap. That's about 16 liters, by the way. Just a, a work of art, work of art. The dry weight on this bike, I could not find a wet weight number. 452 pounds. That's 205 kilograms. It has rain mode, road mode, sport mode, off-road, and rider configurable mode. It has cruise control. It has this TFT dash, and we were looking at that earlier. I love it. Okay, let's put the list away and just take a look at this. All right, I already talked about this. Just the pure art of this. This is something on most modern Triumphs. This whole area is just a gift from the motorcycle gods. Stepping back from there, you've got the radiator guard installed. This beautiful pipe. Just a real work of art. I mean, look at that pipe. You know, an acre of stainless steel. The heat shielding. Just a gorgeous thing, you know. The fin motor, even though it's liquid cooled, the Triumph part, you know, all of the, all these classic touches. The cat. So let's talk about accessories real quick. Hand guards, the built well grips, the rock risers, these knee pads look like a, oh, those are Triumph branded. Uh, coming back this way, we've got this rack on the rear, and then this bag, Hepco and Becker. Look at that. Looks like a rhinoceros, maybe. That's quality stuff. That's good stuff. Very well done. Very well done. I like it. So that's the add-ons and possibly the seed though. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and point these out. Somebody's going to ask me, so I'm going to go ahead and point these out. I got brand new gloves the other day. They are Royal Enfield Alpine Star gloves. They are leather and mesh on the top. They let air through. They're a summer glove. They've got this carbon fiber knuckle pad, just beautifully done on their part. Velcro to tighten around the wrist. All leather on the bottom and they're doubled up in the places that count. You know, this area here, 
the sides. I had a bike wreck about a year ago and my gloves were trashed along here and right here. And that's where these are doubled up and that's why I got these. You know, they're, they're very well protected. Anyway, I got those at Baxter Cycle. They sell them on BaxterCycle.com. Uh, very nice glove, I think. Yeah, Royal Info on the side. Hey, this is a Triumph video. What are we talking about, right? <laughs> uh, let's jump up here. I already talked about the adjustable clutch lever, the high-low switch, cruise control, a light switch, probably for auxiliary lighting, mode button here, blinkers, horn. This is the joystick for that thing there. Over here, we've got the hazards, the start kill switch, home button, fly-by-wire throttle. Let's see how we turn this on. Check that out. It's a TFT, full color TFT, good afternoon rider, it says. Check that out, huh? I'm not gonna go into great depth around this. So it's got the analog looking tack on there. It's got the speedo in the center here. The uh, gear indicator up there. Rider mode up here. Fuel gauge, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, clock up here and other information over here. I'm gonna go ahead and push the uh, home button just to see what happens. Okay, and it gives us different options. Rider modes, bike setup, trip meter, display, yada, yada, yada. Uh, let's back out of that. And let's try this mode button over here. Mode, okay, there's our, our five modes. So every, everything from uh, everything from road to sport to off-road to rain to rider setup. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then to shut all this off, you hold that button down there and it goes away. Shuts itself down. I like this. I like this. Very good looking motorcycle. Very good looking motorcycle. If you are interested in something like this, I suggest getting down to Baxter Cycle and checking this one out. They've got a whole slew of these in there, uh, new and used. I think they only have one used one, but uh, it's a product worth considering. So if you're interested in a bike like this, get yourself down to the Baxter Cycle. Go to BaxterCycle.com. Uh, give those guys a call. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you, would you? Life is good. Now, if the weather is nice where you're at, kind of overcast, it looks like it might rain here, but if the weather's good where y'all are at, get out there and ride, my friends. I think I'm going to go try to do the same. Wahoo!